Tess. Welcome to WFM Radio. This is In Between Pieces, brought to you by Writings from Michael, where I discuss entrepreneurship from the lens of an artist and business mindset. This conversation is made with love and joy for your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Welcome with love. Peace. All right, so we are back with WFM Radio In Between Pieces. I'm your host, Michael G. Simpson. Now, welcome. Now, this is kind of like a recap period. We're on episode 20. We got 20 episodes, man. Let me mind you. Let me, let me, let me just give you some thought here. We started this whole entire podcast, right? I had an idea post-COVID, like, let's put something together where it's for creatives, for entrepreneurs. I'm a self-taught entrepreneur myself, man. I taught myself how to paint all that good stuff like that. So... And let's develop a community around this, right? So I literally gave Junior a shout. Man, I want to start this. The first episode we did was with my iPhone. That's the honest truth. With the iPhone, Junior cut up some things. And just like that, we kept on going. And there's been some rough patches, been some high patches. But the thing is, we keep on going. So a lot of folks meeting me at the Trading Post. Much love to you for being here. I want to recap what WFM is because we're getting so much um, love, man, from people who just, the DMs, emails, I'm receiving this, and I receive it, man, I, I really do, I'm just so appreciative, because we're just really building our dream, and I, I don't like to say chasing it, because chasing it, things fleet, but we're building it, and building it is part of this, right, just staying consistent, and, and just staying 10 toes down to it, man, right, but WFM is not a brand, right, it's a language, and I say a language because I told you, writing has been the catalyst for me, my whole entire life, man, I feel like I've just now gotten to just own that and own that power. I feel like we get into a space of like owning what you do, right? Let's be owners, not renters, right? Let's own what we do, right? Own the love that you have in your life. Own the love that you give in life. And I feel like when we can kind of embrace that, it's easier to be yourself. It's easier to flow. It's easier to go. And it's easier to wake up each and every day knowing that you have purpose. So with all that, I'm going to give it like this, man. WFM is a is a language, ooh, excuse me, not a brand. And as you get into each piece, right, a lot of different statements and quotes, right, different one-off things and tangents. For me, I definitely could took the path of continuing to write poetry books after the first one. But I wanted to take it a little bit different and treat the clothing like books. I love clothing. Not to say I'm materialistic, but I do love um, fabrics. I love the textures. I love colors. I love putting together a fit and just being an extension to who you are, what you feel in that day. Shout out to the brown. The brown is a new color I love right now. But I I wanted to treat it like books. So when I go to Barnes and Nobles, I go to different bookstores, a lot of the times what intrigues me is the cover. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front here. The covers, um I'll I'll, I'll turn to the back. What's the synopsis? What does it mean? I'll turn it inside. What does it make me feel? And these are all things how I kind of dictate a book other than just the author itself, right? And what the book topic is about. But what does it feel like? And that's what I want you to get out of each piece is the message. What does it make me feel and how does it enrich my life? Because when we come across things, right, it's like almost, what's a good example, Jim? What's a good example of... uh, When I first came to California, here, right here, when I first came to California, there is no explanation as to how the weather hit my soul. I can't even describe it in words. Obviously, I'm describing it now because words are literally uh, a beacon of life, right? But there's sometimes you can't even describe it. I'm almost trying to describe the words you can't describe in words. That's literally what this language is about. And it's almost like giving you the dialogue and in the words, the correct words to say how you feel when the times you don't have the words. That's my goal, right? And that's the objective each and every time when you see a piece, when you pick up a piece, when you feel a piece. And this is why I recommend go to the trading post, go to the Melrose trading post, see us on Sundays and experience the vibration because we're trying to deliver something that has not been done before. Literally give you a language through clothing, right? Where each piece has some type of piece to your journey. Now, you may be going through a high state, say a low state, a mid state, wherever you are in life. What brings us to life here is that we are connected by the highest source. 
So no matter what, rich, poor, medium class, it don't, it don't matter. The, the money is, is almost is, is secondary to it. We all are humans. So that's the connected source. That's the common denominator between these, all these pieces that poetry truly can enrich life. I'm just trying to enrich life through poetry, and the medium happens to be clothing. Now, sometimes I get busy on a wall. Sometimes I get busy on sneakers, too, as well. No matter what medium it is, it doesn't matter the medium sometimes. It really happens to do with the message, the intent, and the purpose behind it. And it's really to give you purpose in life. I feel like if we were younger, right? Shout out to Junior right here, right? If, see, young Junior, right? 13 years old. Just knowing that purpose and that, and that gift behind the camera, we know things a little bit better, right? We know how to kind of step forward better. We know what opportunities to take. We know where, where to go. The more clarity we have, the clearer we can see. You, you ever feel like you just feel so clear in your life? Like, all right, this is where I got to go. I got to go here and I got to do this, right? No distractions, no nothing. I'm just staying focused. And that's what it is right now. I'm just so focused. And I feel like as you're watching this, you're so focused on your journey, your path, that there's no distraction that can block you. And that's why this whole dialogue of what this language is, is supposed to permeate as quick as possible. Shout out to all the young kids that come to the Trading Post, man. They see these new things. It's a dope feeling, man, because I wish I could be that young and get to get that grasped that early. Right. And get to understand that there is more purpose in this life. So WFM is not a brand. It's a language. And we're here to change this world one piece at a time. So I, I really just want to thank you for just being here. And if you got some love, man, just, just show some love in the comments, man. Just, you know, just, 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 just show what you're feeling, how you're feeling and some topics for me to touch on. We're going to change this one piece at a time. We have a long way to go. But each and every day we get better and better and better. And I feel the same for you. You get better and better and better because we don't perfect anything. We just get better at it. And there's always room for improvement. And I wish you guys nothing but love, success, happiness, and prosperity and upward movement. So I send you off with that. This is WFM, not a brand, but a language with love. Peace. And you just listened to WFM Radio In Between Pieces. Please like, subscribe, download, and spread this conversation with love and joy. Keep going on your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Much love. Peace.